All right, let's go. I don't want up to do so. I'll do some pizza for coalesce. Okay, never mind. I already did it. I already did it. Do some. Oops. Let's do this. Are this parkour apparently? So, how's your day going? Yes, you. The one sitting in front of the screen. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, a crow from Starrell. So I want to touch back on what I said yesterday. Yesterday, the first topic that I say is communication and how if you learn every day, right, you and you teach it, that's called communication in, and it also linked back to how in ancient times, the only reason how we humans exist is because of that little thing that we do where we communicate all the dangers, right? Yeah. And that links me to think about Anchoring bias and status quo bias. In anchoring bias, basically, hold on. In anchoring bias, basically, people would anchor their ideas around the first thing that they were told or the first thing that they believe in. So, for example, if you're on a cell, right, and if the first person, the salesperson says that the original price is 200, for example, then you would, then most people would think that, oh, their service is worth 200, and Anything lower than that is a steal. But in reality, let's say that person, they know they are worth 
15 for example they are service is worth 15 and because they say that they are worth 200 from the get go right that 200 would be stuck in the original person's mind and so the next thing that the salesperson will say is here's the thing here i'll give you a discount a discount of let's say 50 percent if this is a steal this is a steal i normally don't give this to other people but since you're playing how to get, I'll give you a 50% discount. And so the person would think, oh, I'm getting a steal. They are actually giving me this for 50% off. What kind of them? But yeah. But in reality, they are worth like 50, but now they are worth 100. And then the salesperson can go on and on. The salesperson can say, how about this? I'll give you an extra, extra, and I mean, I don't do this generously. I'll give you an extra 25 off your offer. Then I go on and on. And yeah. That's a sales tactic, I think. I don't really use it yet, but it feels like it works. And people say that it works. And the next one, right? Status quo bias. In status quo bias, People have a tendency to hold the current situation rather than an alternative situation to avoid risk and loss. So what that means is instead of score bias, people would hold an idea in their mind, right? Could be because of their childhood, of their parents, how they are raised and stuff like that how their friends view them and how they view themselves, they would hold an idealism that far exceeds that of the current situation that they're in. Which also means that someone could think that they are right because they have such an understanding of the topic so most of the time they are right but that's the thing they have a tendency to always go to the same thing over and over again even if it doesn't fit them in that current situation they might think that oh i i've done this before you just have to restart the computer for example to get rid of the virus or something and then Oh, that's a bad example. Okay, let's go into the sales example again. Oh, let me think of it. It's hard to maintain a consistent thought when also focusing on parkour, you know. Humans aren't really built for multitasking. But this is fun for me.
an example in status quo bias a person might think that they are right because they've done this before and they might be but there is a different like more elegant way of doing things but they wouldn't know because they all they are always stuck in a thought they're always stuck in their own mind and they don't expose themselves to new information that might help them in the current situation or they don't change their thoughts they don't change how they view things and they're always stuck in their own mind in terms of situations and answering things and this will hurt them this will actually hurt their likelihood of becoming better than they are yesterday and becoming better than they used to be they might think oh something isn't something isn't broken but so i don't have to fix it if it's not broken then i don't have to fix it and that's partly true but once that thing is broken it might be too late Oh, I hate these things where they are to do it just the perfect amount. And then you have to face forward on zero zero. I just felt. Is it five upon one? This my work. These type of pixel charms are annoying, but at least they put a sign. And we argue that so they might so when they finally found found out that that information might not serve them anymore, they might still go to that inf that same thought process of they might go to that same thing and that's how people get stuck in life that's how i get stuck in parkour parkour you just go you get stuck on the same level and you keep doing the same thing that worked before but won't serve a but won't serve a purpose really if my English is bad just know that I'm still learning even the summarizing bot that I use a I use Chris the software 
and first has the uh, a transcribing feature right and that feature i used it yesterday basically it's ai fancy feature right i used it yesterday and even the ai bot don't know what i'm saying 50 percent of the time So I wouldn't blame you if you don't know what I'm saying. Although I've never tried the uh, transcribing my own voice in VIO before. I've also noticed that the videos that I uploaded yesterday, they are all poor quality. They are all in 480p, which is like, which is the opposite of what Mr. Beast said. You should upload that for some random YouTuber said that you should outdoor that. I don't think that my videos would ever get recommended to anyone. Or if it did, I don't think that anyone would click on my video unless I make Schwartz or something, but I am not entertaining. I am not entertaining. Who wants to watch a guy do parkour while speaking the most depressing things? Whoever made this, what the fuck, man? Oh, my God. You have to be the most annoying person to make this. Goes to and all there. Whoa, we jump was for one minute.
It's another one of these. I'm going in a circle. I'm going left. There's a trick that I learned from Lotto Z. He's like a, an old YouTuber from a long time ago, right? I don't think that. I don't think he uploads right now. Yet again, I've never, I don't watch him anymore. I used to watch him a lot, actually. Every time that I get back from school, from middle school, he would have an episode uploaded. Basically, just anything. Even showcases 1.12 mods without mods. That's crazy. In 1.12, right, there's this. They added command blocks that you can make mods or some combination of things out of it. And then he's been doing that ever since. I feel like he likes command blocks a lot. I just, oh, my childhood. My childhood. I just thought of the uh, game crafted and how it's disbanded. I was pretty devastated when it got disbanded. It's a sad day for me. Right? It was good old times. But it has to end. Good times have to end. Everything has an ending. And if you are optimistic, everything has an end and a beginning. Everything has a beginning and an end. I think that there are stages in life where people just don't want to grow up. There are stages in life where 
you don't want things to change. Why is change uncomfortable? Right. Why does change have such a negative rap around it? When humans change so much, a guy could change in a matter of seconds. In a matter of seconds, someone could change. And somehow that changes could be good or bad, but change could be good or bad. Yet, why do we think that change, why do the majority of people think change is bad? Or in this stage, this generation, why do people change so much? There's no, you don't have to like, you don't have to change your core. You don't have to change anything. The world will change it for you. You will have to change eventually. But I don't know. I guess give credits where credits are due. This generation is pretty good at changing and that's not really a bad thing, but Not really that good, either. I've been thinking about emotions lately as well. Like, why? Why do some people get angry at things that seem so 
manage tu. Is it because it's stuck? Is it because it makes them feel better? So I've read this, I've searched this before, right? And I've searched this, Google said this, right? I don't know if it's true or not. Google said that anger is mostly pain expressed in another way. Why? Because pain feels that pain, pain leads to sadness and people don't like pain. Change is pain maybe but people don't like pain people so that's why they get angry when things change or it doesn't go their way So all those League of Legends streamers where, where they go angry all the time it's because they have a lot of pain associated with them. That's why I didn't get it. Why would you play something, some game that brings you so much pain? And then repeat that thing over and over again. You know, three of legend streamers. There's this meme with philosophers, right? There's this meme where philosophers, they would dig a hole. Something that can be questioned by science. They would dig a hole and then jump right into it. <laughs> 
Ja, og så først jo... Ligg der oven hår. They would debate each other on whether this pointless ideal is right or not. And if their life, their life choices of being a philosopher is right or not. And they will progressively get more and more angry until eventually someone would become naked and jerk off under the sun as a homeless person.
I have this theory, right, that the human brain is just a complex puzzle solver. Much like an AI, where you know we grab information from others and the outside stimuli. and we merge them together somehow much like an AI and we just talk random shit and then somehow string together words that make sense
I'll just give this. It's getting a bit lonely here. Just thought out of something that pissed me off. It's that adults, man, or like people that are older than you, they seem to force ideals and shit into your mind. They seem to drill rules on some on some strict parents. They seem to drill rules and stuff that you have to follow. And people keep that. People keep those thoughts when they grow up. When you teach your child and punish them for not doing something, they learn. Kids learn fast. They learn that if they didn't do this, then they will get punished or they will get laughed at. And then when they grow up, they teach their child the same thing. And the process repeats. Well, I'm skipping this again. So what I'm trying to say is for an adult, the problem of kids, the problem that kids faces is like a mere ant compared to quote unquote their own problem. They would say the kids' problems are minuscule 
the kids' problems are nothing compared to theirs. And then they will ramble on and on about how they are lucky to even be alive or something like that. Not speaking from assurance, no. They will ramble on and on about how you are not grateful for things like that. And this might not stop until you move out. You might not even realize this. There might even be unconscious programming going on. You wouldn't realize it. Some things can go on in your brain unconsciously. And until those things are brought to light, you will never realize that something that you think is right could be wrong. Something that you think or your program to think is false or under no circumstance should be questioned with the sentence right? under no circumstance should be questioned that's programmed into the mind that, and that sucks You can't question things, you can't believe in it more. It's until you question how true that thing is, like math, right? You try and if it is correct, then you would think that, oh yeah, that math equation is correct. And I wouldn't just plainly believe in things that other people said to be true because I haven't did it yet. Double jump in this one. What? again no 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 so 50 to 75 and then Zero, zero. Bro. Yes. <laughs> 
these type of things are mildly annoying. League of Legends streamers, they're on another level. League player in general, they are never not fun to make fun of.
I think I ate something bad. Let's do some of this. From now on, I will upload in 1080p. I thought I was uploading in 1080p before, but apparently not. Now that I think about it, it makes sense that it, what the hell, it makes sense that the videos from before uploaded so quickly because all those videos are in 480. Which makes sense to my shitty internet.
this is what they say. Why are there so much people playing Accordius right now? But then I realize today is Friday. Which wouldn't make much sense really because In America right now, it's 4 a.m. And it's 4 p.m. for me right now. Okay, you want that?
Okay, we're gonna stop. Fire quicker in twenty minutes. I'm going to E. Apple, I'm barely passing. Again. Ironically bad at this.
Oops. I'm doing the best.
Wow, ten management. Sheesh. This is hard. This is hard. What's up, you know, how cool is it?
You know Minecraft YouTuber? I just thought about it. Being a Minecraft YouTuber is kind of hard. Reading, for example. Like those childhood Minecraft YouTubers. How did they run a note like this? The psychopathic mapping right here. That's a person. Or the bee. It is hard. All right, I'm out of here.
you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, bye.